Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman, a longtime viewer of this channel, sent me a watch and it arrived and this thing is pretty amazing. Now that I see it in person, I absolutely love it. What a wild watch. Now he didn't lend it to me and also he didn't give it to me. The reason he sent me this watch is very interesting. So let's take a look at the watch that he sent and I'll explain. So here is the watch. That is so crazy. Look at that bracelet. And the tinted crystal is so awesome. So this watch was sent to me by James Blonde who has an amazing Instagram account. You definitely need to check it out. To make it easier to get to it, I've included it in the description below. He also has a great eBay store. It's full of vintage watches. There's a Tag Heuer Formula One, a Pulsar Gen 1 RAF British MOD Chronograph, an Enicar Ocean Pearl, all kinds of cool stuff. There's even a tabletop Pac-Man arcade game. So definitely check out his shop. I've put a link to that in the description below as well. So if he didn't give me this watch and he didn't loan it to me to review it, what in the world is going on? A bit ago I did a wanna trade challenge and it kind of ended after one trade. So I got the Elise watch and had no takers on this particular one. By the way, this is still up for trade. I'm not gonna give up. Well, Mr. James Blonde decided to donate this watch to the channel so that I could put it up for trade and see if maybe that ends up being a more successful exchange. And when he sent a picture of this watch, I was intrigued by it. But, I mean, if I saw a listing for this watch on eBay, I would have looked at it but not really considered buying it at all. But now that I see this watch in person, wow, I totally would. This looks like something you would see in an old black and white The World of Tomorrow video. This is just 100% retro feature, space age, sci-fi amazingness. And I am a huge sucker for tinted crystals. That is so cool. And I feel like something that more watchmakers should do and should have done in the past because then I'd have more vintage watches with tinted crystals to choose from. And this is just a solid beast. So when I saw it in person, I put out a search for these watches on eBay because I was thinking, you know, I'm going to have to get me one of these. This is just super cool. But then when I saw listings for similar watches by this brand and saw the price tags on them, yeah, there was a couple that were listed for $400, a couple that were $200, and that was the low end. Maybe I won't be getting one of these right away. At some point, it would be really fun, though. These are just, yeah, I love me some retro future. And this watch is super fun to wear. So it's not up for trade just yet. I'm going to spend a little bit of time with this watch so that I can do a full review of it. And then I'll put it out there and see if any of you have something you want to trade for this. And I will pick the worthy watch and we'll see how this trade challenge goes. I mean, I love trading. When I was young, I was constantly getting in trouble for trading my toys to friends and stuff. So I'm totally down for all kinds of watch trade ideas on this channel. I think it's super fun. And hopefully you guys do as well. Let's see what this crazy watch looks like when you're wearing it. So in keeping with the sci-fi theme of the evening, I am wearing the Space View. I do not wear this watch nearly enough. So amazing. So let me take this off and we'll check out the Louis Russell watch. And there it is on my seven inch wrist. It's a little bit loose 
And I don't want to mess with the pressure fit pins on this one last link. It definitely has micro adjustments. That's pretty cool. Oh, that is so crazy looking. I love those old black and white, the world of tomorrow videos. And this is absolutely something that someone in one of those videos would totally be wearing. That is super cool. Thanks so much to James Blonde for sending this and offering to put it up for trade. Be sure to check out his Instagram and eBay store. That is kind of my thank you to him, is giving shout outs to those. Oh, that is awesome. So there you have it, the crazy sci-fi Louis Russell watch. And we'll see if this ends up getting traded. This watch is pretty awesome. It's gonna be sad seeing it go, but at the same time, it'll be super exciting. Thanks for watching. Thank you.